What's going on? This your boy June 2nd, man, and I'm rocking with Dog on Scat Lack. This June 2nd studio. What's happening? Yeah. Scat Lack up in here, man. Checking in. Yeah, man. What's up, Sumter County? Sumter County. And surrounding areas. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I guess. What, what's, what's been going on with you? Man, I've been grinding my ass off, man. Uh, you know, working, okay. uh, trying to have something, taking care of the children, and, you know, putting my all into this music. Yeah. You yeah. know, manufacturing this goddamn product. I feel you. Same, yeah. same way with me. Yeah. I said, shit, I got six. I got another one on the way. Shit, yeah, man. You know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, we put in the world. Uh, yeah, man. Create, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like I said, so, yeah, every, everything's been working out good, man. The studio's coming out, doing real good. Um, it's looking good, man, in here, man. Um, you know, I, 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 I've been impressed, man, ever since I first heard about you, man, and you know, all the work you're putting in, in the city, man, you know, yeah, you should man. be committed and congratulated for that. Yeah, I appreciate you know? it. You know, and like I said, it's, it, it works hand in hand. Like I said, oh, without yeah. without the artists that come in here like you, you know, that provide good quality music, no doubt, I don't no have doubt. nothing to really mix. So, you know, I, I really do appreciate, you know, people like you. Oh, you yeah, know? man. You know, we just, you know, people like myself and you, of course, and a lot of people around here, man, we just try to be as creative as we can. Yeah. You know, we want that we want that sound because this ain't the city, man. This this ain't Charlotte and this ain't Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know, this something. You this know something. what we gonna, But we you gonna, know what those something actually picking up, man. Oh man, what a at a good rate at too, a man. Great rate. <laughs> we got some great rap around here, man. Yeah, man. Straight up. Yeah, some something is turning out to be the the yeah. little Atlanta or the <laughs> little California like like artists is like Tay Blocker, Count Shit, Up. Yeah. Damn, uh, Smoke Gambino, Smoke Gambino, uh, all of them come straight out of something, straight up, you know? straight out of something, man. And uh, um, Creek Sosa, Tone G, Creek Tone, you know, yeah. that fam Tone, man. Yeah, yo, them niggas doing their thing, man. They, yeah, so I mean, and there's a lot more. I, I could say I could just be mentioning names, and I, I, I'm not trying, you know, leave nobody out, man, but shout out no, to even the producers. All. That's out here. The producers, man, I, I, you know, they surprising the hell out of me with their originality. Yeah, man. I'm loving it, man. They, they, they creating a whole new sound for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, you know, I, I want to just take the time to shout out Marco, shout out La Kim, shout out um, Ayo KJ. Um, uh, dang. Right. There's a couple of other ones I can't remember their names, but it's a it's a few of them. And they be growing, and it's more, and it's like they just kind of, they're popping up. Yeah, they're popping up, man. Yeah. And um, shout out to Brandon too, man. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. he was um, he he did my first couple of tracks when I when I got back on the scene about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I worked with Marco. Yeah. Uh, and Brandon, and of course you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know I worked with earlier producers like uh, Headcrack and Roscoe. You know these these, these early on in the game when I worked with them. Yeah, yeah. And um. You know, I just love it. You know, love to see where it has grown to become. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful goddamn thing, I'm, man. I'm I love it. it. I'm loving it. And yeah. uh, also TNT. TNT from, from out of here in something. TNT from right here. Taj Money. Taj you know, Money. Nigga getting it in. Platinum. Oh, like I said, man, it, it, this is a, a household Shout out to Polo, thing. too, man. Polo a million, million on that million. motherfucker, I, oh, man. man. <laughs> I mean, for real. This just, yeah, you nigga got 800000 and shit. I said, shit. Boy, yes, sir. It's, it's dope. The, the amount of talent, the amount of talent here in just something alone. Great but amount like of I talent. Said, but you know, shout outs to the the uh, Manning and in Wedgefield and even Columbia. Yeah, I mean, Rimba, yeah, Rimba, man, they all doing their thing. We out here, man. We grinding, man. Yeah, man. Tell them we ran up the real from John Morant, man. This now, shit. <laughs> I mean, we got we got no, we got no fuck. shake films from here. We got Carolina mixtapes from here. Yeah, it's J Zoo, Z Zulu. Yeah, video plug. All of yeah. us. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Something. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What you talking about? You what you saying? talking about? Now? Yeah, <laughs> I'm putting that man. I'm 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 a heavyweight in this I'm motherfucker. I ain't gonna tell you no lie, and you know I love it, man. Yeah. I just I'm excited, man. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Uh, man, it's, it's it's a great it's a great year for something, and in the outside counties, it's a great year for South Carolina. Period. Uh, That's right. Rennie Rucci and and um, yeah, Zach, I heard Black about Black Zach. Man. Yeah, shots out, man. Yeah, taking it to that next level. Yep, appreciate so, that, man. You know, so, uh, just we just we just working Luke Kane and I always like I said, well, I just I could name a bunch of them, but we we gonna just keep on rolling. But yeah, man. But other than that, man, uh, with all the stuff that's going on, I just want to just uh, 
all the people that we named, they're still here. And it's in like the way the world is and the way our people is, we just want to take people out. And we're getting a lot of that. Like everybody want to kill each other now. And I don't even understand what's the cause and what's the root of that shit. Yeah, man. I just don't understand it either. You know, when I've been coming up on the streets back in the day trying to get on and shit and do my little thing, it wasn't no money out this motherfucker. You feel me? It wasn't no chances, you yeah. know? Um, the DJs ain't been really fucking with us like that. They had their pick and they've been doing their thing. Yeah. You know, but we still goddamn went on <clears throat> and, and 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 created and um, you know, just try to do everything we could do to push the culture forward. Yeah. You know, from you know, to sump the culture. Right. You know, I don't wanna, you know, uh, uh push another culture that's already out there forward. You know, we already got NBA young boys and shit like that, and they great artists, you know. We would love to goddamn see somebody come up with something new. Right, right. You know, uh, I love it the way that people are, you know, vibing to the singing and shit and all that. But I would love it more to see to hear raw hip hop. You know, let me hear your motherfucking voice, man. If you got it, if you got right, it, right. one. If yeah. you don't got it, man, auto tune that motherfucker up and dress <laughs> it up. But everybody don't do it, you know. Man, like I say, but yeah, we just we just really got to keep working together and trying to lift each other up because we all we really got. I mean, that's, that's it, man. And we got a good, we got a good goddamn. Um, what can I say? It's a good hip hop scene right here, it <clears> is. right now. It's a good hip hop scene. You know, DJ Pay Me, he doing his goddamn oh, thing. Oh, man, shout you know? out to the DJs. The, the, yeah, that my DJ, that what he said. Yeah, DJs, yeah, they every way. Doggone DJ Effect. DJ Effect. DJ, goddamn, I done work with DJ him. He didn't record some of my music. DJ, uh, what's his son? Um, Bezo, shout out to Bezo. Shout uh, out. Cat Uh DJ Khaki. Yeah. That damn Reminai Pinewood. And then uh, Addiction. Addiction, yeah. He be at, um, what it called, 378, right mm-hmm. down from the aisle. Yup, yup. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and some of the clubs I want to even say uh, and, and shout outs 911 also that, that, You know That's another team That we rocking with And they dope. Most definitely Some dope artists 911 uh, um, But Some of the clubs uh, What is it Bar and Whiskey Something What's Melted that? Bar and Whiskey Melted Bar and Whiskey That's a little hip hop They be doing their thing Most definitely up They really support The hip hop uh, community That's right And uh, we need uh, Little bars in clubs that support our type of talent. Because a lot of, like, like, you know, when you go to other um, places or whatever, they got, like, open, open, um, open mic. entertainments, but it'd be more like, for, right. like, live country bands or rock bands or whatever, and they do a whole segment. But now, you know, we really tapping into that, you know, that poetry and that, that um, spoken words and hip hop or whatever. And we, like, we have a community. We go in there and we enjoy ourselves. We drink or whatever. We, we talk. And we we have interviews and stuff. Like I said, that's right. We put together, man. Our little really business, good... our little where we sit down and conduct business at. Yeah. Where we talk about which artists that we want to see work with which artists. Right, man. You know, that's like what we need. What DJ need, need to go on the road with a nigga? Oh, and shit. man. Like, you know? Come on. This is, like I said, we we really, we, we're building. We're learning as we go. We're starting to recognize that, you know, it's a team effort. That's right. You know? And and you know, as us by by us being a team and by us working together, we grow our community even stronger. So, you know, shout outs to something. Shout outs shout to the out to my Sumter city. Something. That. That's right, yeah. man. The shouts out to the people, man. Way. Let's just let's let's take this motherfucker to another level. Yes, sir. You know. Yeah. Let, let, let's collectively do it. <laughs> you know, I don't give a damn who talking, man. Put that goddamn city name up in there. Yeah, get it out. You know, let's get this city up out this motherfucker. You feel me? And, and let them know that. Damn right. When the state, when it, because they're him, but when the state do their thing, something will be a force to be reckoned with in this motherfucker. And I really know that we got enough talent right here to carry the whole motherfucking state. Word, no word. disrespect to no other city, but I'm not living there. This way I know. You know, so. Yeah, man. So if we collectively do it, man, we can we can take this motherfucker to a whole nother we plateau. Can. So, you know, it's with great that, we're going to take a break, man. We'll be right back with June Second Studio. Turn me on, June. LA. Money. Power. Spec, nigga. Black man, rich and no man, so what the talk about? Human family, we the kings, don't make a show. I even play and feel and you done, know what the shit about. See the blood in you, you weak, we need the top spot. Black man, rich and no man, so what the talk about? Human family, we the kings, don't make a show. I even play and feel and you done, know what the shit about. See the 
blood in you, you weak, we need to be rich in the Israelite, written in stone, what they gon' say? Black man, rich in your mind, take back the throne now, come to realization that y'all just a bunch of clones now, don't wanna see the true and living God in human form now, biological, chemical, water, getting it on now, attacking all our melanin gene, they want us gone now, rooted to the universe, I can stand on my own now. Yeah, yeah. That was Scat Lack, man. That's just a little little snippet, man. But uh, yeah, we back. You know, we got to represent our people to the fullest. Yeah. And I'm a good goddamn candidate to do that. Y'all should elect me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I mean, I, um, man, look. This yeah. COVID situation is going on, man. Man, a lot of people dying. I'm telling you. And a lot was, of people it's, dying. It's crazy because it's really not like... A lot of people getting sick. I wouldn't say a lot of people dying, but it's real random. It's real random, and you know what, man? It's a they say it's a whatever epidemic, pandemic, how you want to put it. But I have not witnessed nobody like falling out from COVID like in Walmart or no shit up. No, nah, uh, motherfucking Dollar General. It's always in the hands of the hospital, as far as what I've seen. But without, but I, uh, just like uh, we was just shouting out the producers, like you know everybody. But another one yeah. was uh, um, Henry. Uh, he was a producer, also an uh, engineer. Yeah, man, but he see he died though. Oh man! And, Shouts uh, out to Henry, man. Yeah. Um. And you know, I'm sorry and uh, condolences to him and his family. I mean, his family. Uh. You Yo, know, because we we in here and all we do is just try to, you know, we try to record the public. We record the public, and that's what we do. But you yeah. know, when something like this happens, you know, it hits home because it's like, dang, you know, all we doing is just trying to do our our work. And yeah, people man. Can um, actually, get sick and pass away from this. So one of my one one of my, one somebody I know named Richard, man. His um, we got a call yesterday. His his brother had passed, mm. and uh, last week, you know, when I've been chilling with him and shit like that, he was just telling me, man, that 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 shot got my um, the the what is the vaccine? Yeah, got my brother all fucked up. You know, he wasn't like that. You know, this coming from him now. Yeah. He told me, said he think the vaccine got him fucked up. Got a phone I, call yesterday, and his brother dead. See, that's the you know, I so I, I, you know, that's like a touchy situation because I'm not gonna sit here and Very say sad. that the vac the vaccine is the problem, but I feel like every human, our immune systems, our body, the way our bodies are built, that's the reason why. The COVID situation attacks certain people. It doesn't. It's, it's very random. It's like it's not literally like okay, if you have diabetes or if you sick with AIDS or right. anything that that's gonna be the cause of you. It could be somebody right beside you that never really had anything, and then that person passed away. So you know, in the same way with the vaccine, I would say you know, it's probably a good thing for most people, but then there are some particular people. You do. You that do. Your immune system just doesn't really just react doesn't really to it. do it, and and that way, you know what you made of, what's inside you, yeah, you know all the shit that you've been eating for all them years. That's where this come into play at. That's why I said we we, we you we can build your body, you know, to be very strong. You know, we also fuck our body up eating all this shit with preservatives in and yeah, all that. We, but we do. We it's do. about eating, eating, and then when that motherfucker come in, COVID come in. But it, like you, I said, it's random. No, it's, yeah, it's random. random. It, it doesn't matter if you. Ate healthy to, um, for ten years, you know. Uh, my cousin, my cousin didn't drink, he didn't smoke, and yet, you know, at twenty five, he passed away because uh, uh, he had a heart complication. And uh, it, we like, damn, you know, most of my cousins out here smoking, and others out here doggone, you know, doing a lot of other shit in the streets. And yeah, you know, man, it's, it's like it's, it's well, like random, a random person. Out the family that never did anything except try to do do the right thing, and he's the one that passed away. You know, when God call your number, it's time to go. It's, it's time, time to take to that ride. That's it. You know, and we 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 can sit up here and we 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 always gonna try to put it in perspective and all this and that. But when the man call your number, you got to go. God has we we. There's no brain capacity for us to put God in a perspective. That's right. God is Almighty. You know. And whatever he's and you know the funny thing about it, we got we got when you 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 know as we older now and we look at shit, man. There's really nobody really representing God. You want motherfucking Democrat, Republican, yeah, and none of them talking about that book. None of them. That's that's where we're headed so bad in this country. 
It you really know, is. it's an urge of, you know, I mean, if we would just do, you know, a little bit of this shit in the book, this motherfucker would change like hell. Listen, God said the two commandments that we need to keep, and that is put God first, the kingdom of heaven, and treat others as we want to be treated. If we just did those two things. Just those two alone, man, could bring us but where look, we need to be at. You wouldn't still. Well, you we wouldn't. got another force out there working against us, and you know what that is. That's what I'm saying. You treat you know? others as you treat others as you want to be treated. Do you want right. somebody to rob you? Do you want somebody to, to mess with your wife or something like that? Th these are things that you don't want for yourself, so why would you put that, that drama on someone else? You know, I never understood that. You know, when we been kids and shit, you know, we did things like that and we learned from them. But now as adults, I see people doing that more and more. But, you know, we got to learn to distance ourselves from these people. Yeah. You know, who, we, who, we who gotta, do these type of things. We, we really got to wake up, y'all. And, and link and with the real people. And understand that there is a heaven and a hell. I know that the, the, this is the problem. The problem is that nobody really takes God serious. Nobody fears God. And, and without the fear of God, you can do what you want to do. If there was, if nobody believed in God, if I didn't believe in God, then what's, why, what's stopping me from robbing that store right across the street? Why, what's stopping me? Because I don't believe in God, so I don't have no morals to it. There's nothing that's telling me that I can't do it. That's right. But and when you know I the funny fear thing God, about I'm going to not do it because I know God is going to look at me and he's going to judge me according to what I do out here in this world. The funny thing about that is some of the people in the world, they'll take all that what you said just now, man, and they'll flip that shit on you. You know, dead. <laughs> they do. They do. They'll flip, they, they flip that motherfucker on you and got them in they ain't control. They yeah. your God. Yeah. And without you even realizing it. But but we got to only, be smart out here. There's people. only one God. Man. There's only one God. And we know, you know, especially coming from deep down south like how we is, we still got morals and principles and values. Like I say, we not like the bigger cities. Where you gonna find that real shit is you gotta come a little further. Right. You gotta come down a little deeper in the wood, you know, to get with niggas like us who got those morals and values, who, who, who believe in God and take it serious, who, who is still sinning, you know? But, you know, we try our best. Yeah. We try our best, man, every day, man, to give praise to God and to try to come out this shit we ain't. Yeah. We must recognize, like I say, these people don't give a fuck about us, you know? You're, it, it, they tell you, I got, I, I got some shit on the phone the other day, said they raising the water bill, eating something. You see, with all this shit we going through, man. Yeah, man. Clean up them goddamn bums out here on Liberty Street. Man, Then look. white people got them holding signs talking about, you know what's bad right, when right. white people holding signs I, talking about they need food out there. Right there by McLaughlin Ford. Man. Come on, man. Oh, shoot. No, hey, you hold see, up, y'all. I need y'all to understand. It's, it's, it's getting well, fucked up. No, no, clean no. Up, man. The, the dude that's out there at McLaughlin Ford. They say that, he fucked up. He a fraud. Man. Yeah, he, listen. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> the guy at the McLaughlin Ford, he holds that sign up. If you go underneath that bridge by I'll McLaughlin. Throw a rock at what's, what's that bridge right there under the uh, by McLaughlin Ford? That bridge, that three seven eight bridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. strip, yeah. yeah there's a dollar, there's a Dollar General and there's a Young's Market right there. If you cut that corner, he stays in that house on the right, that trailer. So this what the fuck they doing? Man, got, come on, man. He, you already motherfucking he got, white. He got a You he, got a goddamn pass. Don't tell me you don't. He, he and got, you stand this motherfucker still trying to fuck with people. He got a wife. He got lights on, and he live in a trailer. He's well, not homeless. Well, look at this shit, you I'm glad. Something <laughs> kind of y'all need to listen to us now. No. Right there by McLaughlin Ford. Y'all see that white boy? That shit fucked my head up. I see white people got them like this shit? Nah, man. Something about to happen. It's some good white folks out here, man. It's some beautiful white people out here, man. It's some great white folks but out here. But you know, here. we don't see them in that aspect this, out here like this, that. It's not, 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 not it's you know, not, you see a nigga standing. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's not, know, it's not the fact that somebody being white it's the way the society represents whites and how they represent blacks. Like, the what's going and hold on, what's going on, like how all of the black people were just getting murdered, like, left and right, and there's nothing to be done. And they want to, you know, and the outside of looking in, it's like, well, stop killing each other. Well, that's that's good for you to say, but I'm not the one that's killing nobody. It's, it's just people are killing us. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. not, it's not, and I can't, I can't control the next black person. But when they decide they want to shoot somebody, that's what they're gonna do. But if it turned around and it started being white people killing white folks, or black people killing white folks, 
then you would put the the stipulations out here. You'll you'll up that force. You'll you'll solve those problems. You'll, those cops will be out here double time trying to resolve the situation before it gets out of line. But because it's a bunch of black people and we're just killing each other. And you see murders every single day in the same neighborhood. It's like you hear a gunshot about every other day out here in this in these streets. Every other day. You mean to tell me that you can't control the situation? Motherfucker shot my studio up. Here it is. If you call the police or whatever, you can tell. You can say what you or what it is. You can try to give them information. They ain't going to be able to find you. But, but let it have been me dead in here. Let it have been me dead in my studio. They would have picked my body up and they would have found the person that shot me. Oh, yeah. Because now that's two people. That's two black people gone. You're dealing with a system that that, that was designed. You got to look at where the police come from. If you do your research, you know, I can go back a little further. Slave catching, you know? Yeah, yeah. So so, so even after us back then. before, uh, Yeah, before slaves, there was no such thing as uh, police. We, police came after we became free. Once That's we right. became free from slavery, well, it was police, and it just wasn't recognized it, as the police. Right. They always had that. It, it type was of some type of enforcement, but it was. Yeah, it, they it, made it a law. Yeah, and, 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 and made it, it within the system in which we, we lived. were free for one year, and they made this law where. Any, anybody that's doing any little minimized crime or whatever, they would have to go to jail. But it was predominantly, pretty much, pretty much ninety something percent, all black people, and they would capture you. Here it is, you free, but that's they right. would capture you and put you in, uh, um, in prison for life, pretty much for for crossing the street. And then you would, you, there's a there's a movie called Thirteenth Amendment. Mm-hmm. And I ain't checked that out. Oh, yet. that's that shit crazy. But, the man, movies. it's crazy because all they did was you. Yeah, we became free, mm-hmm. but we weren't really free. Once they, once we became free, they put the laws in to basically put us and confine us, and then we had to work anyway. But now we're working in chains and stripes instead of. That's dollars. right. They just take us out the field and make and industrialize the shit. That's it. That's you it. You know, and 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 we still doing. Doing the shit we've been doing, they we we, we the motherfucker getting the job done. All our chain gold so, kids, so when on, somebody, you so when at, somebody say something about and they you know the what motherfucker saying, getting the money, slavery been a long time ago. Yes, yeah, slavery that was shit, a long that time shit ago. Right now. But then, doggone mass incarceration was the next thing, and then after mass incarceration, then it was doggone segregation. Well, you know, in, in the forties and fifties and shit, we found ourselves. Trying to perm our hair, you know, trying to be more like them, you know, you know. And in the '60s, when it came around, mm -hmm. we begin to find ourselves. You start hearing shit like "I'm black and I'm proud." Yeah, people, uh, black people, starting to be more involved in uh, government and knowing their rights, standing inside the road, defending their communities with AR-15s and assault rifles, not harming anyone, but defending their communities. This is what happened in the '60s. Afros were grown. Afros, Afros were grown and the goddamn perm shit went out. I'm black and I'm proud. Muhammad Ali say fuck the army. You know, people starting to take a stand. This was the shit going on in the 60s mm-hmm. and the 70s and shit. Boom. Motherfucking crack cocaine hit. You know, we've been cooking up goddamn hip hop back then. Oh, they was. You they know, we've been was, cooking up hip hop back then. That was another mass incarceration the right there. But crack cocaine come. So now you got genocide. On the motherfucking black community again. Once again, you know damn well we just not been we we still slaves. Oh, hold, on, really. hold on, hold on, before even before you get that deep, like the the crack cocaine that whole situation. That crack cocaine but, era was but, worse than COVID nineteen. Black when people, I saw that motherfucker on the TV and, look, and it's a pandemic look, epidemic. Black people when I went on the street, the, I saw that. Listen, black people had the crack cocaine. The white folks had the. I mean, black people had the crack. The white folks had the cocaine. You could have. a Think of cocaine. You can snort cocaine all day long, and if you get uh, caught for that, you wouldn't get shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if you had crack, which was in the black community, systematically, I don't give a damn if it was like a again, little a piece. Your ass was going to jail for your 20 ass years. going to jail, straight up. And and, and 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 how the fuck you going? Listen, man, let's not be get it <laughs> twisted. We can put any group of any race of people in a confined space with limited resources, and they guarantee to kill themselves. Right? This is what the fuck we going on. In the black community with other races. 
you see that this motherfucker, the first thing he did to get in the chair, he wanted 11 million more motherfuckers from overseas to come over here. Ooh. Now, see, Biden, Mr. Biden, and, and you know that's suppressing. Oh, you know, man. the black vote Damn. means so much. No, 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 no. June, the black vote means so it much. It does mean a lot. Right now, and, it, and, and it's the turning point. A little loud. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing. And it's the turning point, you yeah. know, in, 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 in the elections. Yeah. We, we, we run this shit, right? So now you got 11 more million mother motherfuckers, and I ain't saying this is what they going to do. Right. But they have the opportunity to suppress our black vote. They have an opportunity to come into our neighborhoods. I mean, that's like most immigrants have. That's what dog on. They Trump. come into our neighborhoods. Listen, listen. And, 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 I've been, and, and they basically do a takeover shit, ran, the I stores and all that. I voted. They running it. I voted for Obama twice. Yeah, then I did. I did. I voted uh, for. Him. And then I and then I voted again uh, against Trump when he first got in the office. This time when I voted, this time when I voted, all of a sudden they say my residence was wrong. No. They playing games like that. Because they I know... know They're they going to the extreme of that. Well, this is the thing. Well, you know, that's the that's what Trump was really trying to do, was trying to suppress the votes. Yes. It wasn't it he, wasn't Biden that was suppressing those votes. Well, it, was, it wasn't Biden. I'm just Biden. saying what they... What, what, I, the 11 million All I was trying to do was get my vote in vote to vote in for future. Biden. That was what I was trying to do. Yeah. But I couldn't do it. Not this year. Mm-hmm. And they said that all the Democrats' votes was fraud anyway. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah, I they, had they a made a big time. mess out of it. My, home, mess, my homeboy, they said that he he has to vote in North Carolina. They said his residence was in North Carolina. Like, what the fuck? I've been voting all these years, and all of a sudden, now my, 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 my residence has changed. This is the first I heard of this being done like this, to this extent. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is crazy, man. Where, 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 where the fuck we living at? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I mean, what we so, doing, man? I mean, but, yeah, but I mean, it's it's quiet, man. Uh, look, Biden is in the chair now. You like it or you don't. Mm-hmm. Um, regardless, Biden is in the chair, and it's been so quiet. I look on the news. I be trying to search the news for drama, <laughs> cause yeah. all I seen on my dog on uh page was. Trump, 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 Trump. And there was always something going on every single day with Trump. It's been so quiet. I get on the It's been so quiet they're talking and you know about dogs and they talking about so much other shit that's going on in the world. Now I just Biden believe in this up. right here. Okay, Biden. <laughs> let's not get it twisted. Okay. okay. Talk we to have him. talk to Biden. We have put you in the chair. He's in the chair. Black the people. Chair. Black people have put you in the chair. Yup. Now, we done did all this shit for you. You need to do something for us, man. That's all we asking. That's what I, I'm and, not. I, look, listen, man. And, I'm and, not being and, selfish and or nothing, nothing like that. And I'm not looking for nothing crazy. Oh, fuck, you better do something for us. This is what I want. This And this is what I want. Yes. I want somebody to help us stop the black on black crime. Help us. And do it for real. And do it for real. We... As a black community can enjoy ourselves and go around and, and, and talk to each other and and have cookouts and everything and never get into no drama. And then you got these incidents where black people will kill each other and then that's the thing that's being broadcasted on television. Well, we know it's a deliberate plot. We're not a, a, a dumb race of people, uh, a race of people who don't got no goddamn sense, man. It's a deliberate plot on us. You have everybody benefiting off the works of our back. Once again, in the fields back in the day and shit, we put in the work. But the motherfucker ain't putting in no work, which is your modern day supervisor. Yeah. This the motherfucker getting the money. Right. But he ain't getting his hands dirty. He can't perform the job. You see what I'm saying? Everything is fucked up and backward. So now you got all these people coming into the black community, which we've been here. For a long, long time, uh -huh. you know, 15, 16, 17, shit, whatever the fuck. But it's it been, it, it been over 400 years, you know, that we were here. And still yet, we don't benefit. You know, we have Mexicans coming in, you know, in our communities, getting money, goddamn leaving. We have all other races just piggybacking off of us. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? As if we not, and, and you know, we built this motherfucker, so we shouldn't, have to go through this, we shouldn't have to feel like that. We shouldn't have to feel like third, 
fourth and fifth class citizens in a fucking nation that we built. Right. You know, and stop playing games. Y'all the same damn people from the goddamn 20s, uh, the 1800s. Y'all the same motherfucking people. I'm talking about control, money, and power. Now, I ain't talking about these little punk ass motherfucker running around here. I'm talking about the people who actually can control something. Yeah. You know, y'all the same motherfuckers. And I don't like you. I don't like what you're doing. You know, you're doing all kind of shit to us. You're running around this motherfucker acting like we the lowest grade of humans on planet Earth. Right? That's what the fuck. Black people, listen to me. This is what the fuck they got you labeled as. Every fucking race, bro, you at the bottom. You 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 the backbone for every race, really. Mm. And you carrying they fucking weight. You saw when you turn your motherfucking hat backwards and start jumping around on the goddamn floor in the late 70s, the whole world did it. Now a motherfucker talking about, oh, hip-hop ain't gonna last and shit like that. This shit is a bunch of crazy bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. But look, they need the motherfucker to sell their deodorant. It's the goddamn number one genre well, of music on planet Earth. Well, let's, let's, and we did that we from are. nothing. But listen. From this, nothing. And so, now they still so, they're trying to take that. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, let, 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 let's 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 just so let's bring this back into perspective. Black people never got out of perspective, bro, bro. We no, no. We 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 great. You know what I'm saying? But now is a chance for us to really, really be something. Here it is. We got our DJs in order. We got our producers in order. That's we right. got our engineers in order. We got our videographers in order. We got, we got interviews in order. Shout outs to Dog on uh, Summer Nights. Uh, still local. He he doing his thing. He had Sam. Shout out, man. Yeah. Um. 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 Sc the plug. Uh. Me. Uh. A. Um. A Wild TV. Like we 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 got all the stuff in perspective. Who we can go to for these things for our music. And now we have our platforms. This is a platform right here. That's to, right. To have our words not be muted. So we need to utilize and build this community up even more because we are actually growing. And like we I said, are. So, and you know what? We need to, um, we're going to stop all the bullshit. We need to, we need to get rid of some of y'all motherfuckers. You need to get the fuck on you out of You got to get on. You got to go, man. You got to go because you're you fucking know, us up. And you're making right. us look bad. And, you're making our community look bad. That's right, and, man. And your stupidity, your stupidity is making. It's causing, look, I got I got six kids. Well, Talk I was at one-on-one, one on one on the way. Four boys. Statistically, statistically, you mean to tell me that I have to accept that one of my boys is going to get killed? The statistics say that one of my boys is going to be murdered before they hit 30. And then along with the jail and what he's supposed to do. I don't to. want my kids going to jail. I don't That's want right. my kids going to jail. I don't want them to, to get murdered. I want them to live successful lives and I want them to grow old with a woman or by themselves and die of natural causes. That's right. And most importantly, I want them to have a great start in life. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. I want them to want. have a great start in life, man. I don't want them to have to go through this shit that I've been going through. You know? It's all about the kids, man. Yeah. So You know, when it, when it boils down to it, it's all about them. We do this shit for them. That's it. To trying to get away up out this motherfucker. And we be damned if one of y'all punk motherfuckers come around here and fuck something up. So Go shout do out something else. So Go shout out your little to the shit, real, man. the real black love out here. That's the right. The real black love. Black lives matter. And it doesn't just stop with white folks and cops. It stops with doggone the black on black crimes too. Black That's lives matter. That's where we matter. got to stop it at. We are sick of you motherfuckers, you little punks, want to have your guns and want to kill off all our people. That's right. I mean, the first thing you get, and I get it, man, it's a mentality. And I know your pussy is a motherfucker. Because back in the day, if I get mad at you, I just going to mush you or, or do something. I'm, I'm going to put my hands on you, man. Listen, they don't you want know, the hands. You know, but now your, your motherfucking ass, just when, when you get mad, you so punk divide to get your ass beat or to, uh, 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 to go through this shit to you, your first mentality is getting a gun. They scared, man. Because you scary. It's in your soul. I know your mama goddamn raised you, and she had your goddamn mean, mean fucking pay list with pocketbooks <laughs> picking out shit, and that's God what the fuck you damn. done saw. You know what I'm saying? I know this shit about you, nigga. 
You understand what I'm saying? And I'm sorry for you because you ain't had that father figure in your life. And I understand that, nigga. But you need to come and talk to a nigga like me. You understand what I'm telling you? Because I can show you something. I know your motherfucking mama had you all out there goddamn, you know, goddamn pretty ass stores. And, 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 and now you old, you goddamn 25, 30, you want to pick up a pocketbook. Because that's all the fuck you been seeing. You call it a man purse. I dig it. I get it. But do your thing. You fit, but don't fuck around over here. <laughs> you can't fuck around over. Just do your thing, man. Hey, Scat Light. You do, just do your thing. That's we it. Gonna, we gonna go ahead and wrap this one on up. Yeah, yeah. we gonna wrap this one this up, man. This fun, man. I apologize to no, anybody no, feel offended. No, that, but, that, but those we who do that, just, they know who they this is. is. You gotta be real out here. You know? We, and you gotta hear it. You gotta listen. God damn. Like, we can't keep sugarcoating this shit to y'all. Nah, man. Yeah, damn, we, we, some real food. we really need motherfuckers to tell y'all, little niggas, chill the fuck out. I mean, tighten your shit up, man. You That's know what it. I'm saying? Get your motherfucking money and stay out the goddamn way. <laughs> All the extra shit, man. I'm going to check your motherfucking ass, nigga. Hey, man. You feel me? I ain't going to tell you no lie. in the building, man. It's your boy, June 2nd. This June 2nd studio. We out. We out.